we know a lot about differential equations by this time. But how to form differential equations? For that purpose, we understood that we have to differentiate. And how many times to differentiate depends on question to question or situation to situation. But specifically, if I am talking about some example and I need to find out the differential equation which will satisfy the all members of that particular family which I am talking about, say circle or say parabola, how to do it like. So let's take an example. Supposedly we have the equation of a circle x square plus y square is equal to r square where we have the center at the origin and the radius is termed as r. Now if I am supposed to find out different different members of this family, what will they be like? They might be x square plus y square is equal to 1, x square plus y square is equal to 4, x square plus y square is equal to 9 and so on. Wherein firstly we had the radius 1, then the radius 2 units, then the radius 3 units. Similarly, it could be x square plus y square is equal to 64, wherein the radius would be 8 units. So, these are the different members of the same family and they will give me a graph. If I have to plot them on the same graph, you understand that what will it be like? It will be something giving me concentric circles. Here it is O which is origin and here it is x square plus y square is equal to 1. So, it could be something like this, wherein this is your 1. And now we have x square plus y square is equal to 4. This could be something like this. x square plus y square is equal to 9, could be something like this. This is just a rough sketch. So, you are seeing that the accuracy is not there. But still you understand that this is only for understanding purpose. And we understand that what kind of a figure do we obtain? We get concentric circles. Why concentric circles? Because all those are the members of the same family. So, what to do now? We have to get a common differential equation for this above situation given in front of us. And that differential equation should be such that it represents all the members of this particular family. See, what do we do? We just differentiate it once. So, it becomes 2x plus 2y dy by dx is equal to 0. As you see, this is r which is a constant quantity and you see there is only one constant into picture. So, differentiate only once. So, what you can do is you can take two common. So, it becomes x plus y dy by dx is equal to 0 which is the required differential equation for this situation. So, you know now what to do in order to obtain a differential equation. We have to just differentiate how many times will depend on situation to situation.